and hi guys this is Dana Desima and I'm back with video number two on modding for Sims 4. So last video I just showed you guys like the tools and some of the tips and tricks that I use when I'm modding my Sims 4 and this video we're going to be making buffs in the mod constructor as well as the lot 51 website and it should be a quick and easy like making buffs is insanely easy um so this video should not should not be as long as the last one if you watch my last video you already have the mod constructor downloaded because i linked it in my in the description so if you don't have that please pause this video and go download the mod constructor from zebu's website make sure you're downloading version 5 we are working with the latest version we are not using version 4 we are using version 5 so um what are buffs exactly so buffs are moodlets they are basically what controls your sims emotions so you will know if you play the game at the bottom left side left side yeah at the bottom left side your sims usually get different emotions happy sad angry that kind of thing those are controlled by the buffs they get and the buff you would define what mood you want to give your sim you can do so much more with buffs but we are just starting with just giving the buff to the sim and controlling the emotions they're going to have and how long they're going to have it for you can also control that when you make the buff so um in this video we're not going to see well you guys will not see the buff at the end because i have not yet shown you how you can put the buffs into your game you can't just create the package file and then drop it in your mods folder and it's going to show up it does not work like that the buff needs to be linked to some kind of interaction or just some kind of anything in general a trait you can put buffs with traits you can move off with objects it needs to be linked to something it can't be by itself so I'm going to show you guys, I believe it's the next video, how to make loot actions, which we're going to link to our social interactions. Um, but what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you guys, obviously, how to make the buffs. And then I'm going to do it behind the scene, inject it into like some kind of social interaction. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to show you guys what the buff looks like in the game itself. So for now, we're just going to work on creating the buffs. So that's enough introduction in regards to buffs. How many times I say buff, guys? <laughs> and yeah. So let us go to mod constructor and start working on buffs. So we are in mod constructor number five, guys. Remember version number five is what we need. Make sure you put your creator name at the bottom as well. And then a, mo a mod name, it can be anything you want. We're working on a romance interaction. So I'm just going to call it um, romantic interactions. And then I'm going to go to create mod. So after you've done that, this screen is going to pop up. It's going to be completely empty. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add an element at the bottom here and we're going to go down to buff. You need to go to show all guys, otherwise it's not going to show. And we're going to go to buff. I'm going to name it what we want that buff to be. So we'll do the romantic interaction. This one could, would be flirty buff, but because we're going to have quite a lot of flirty buffs in this interaction, um, you can name it. Let me just put flirty buff for now, but you guys can name it whatever you want it to be. You can also go back to naming it, but I always advise to name it where you want it and leave it. Because if you change the name, you're going to change the ID as well. And the ID is what's linked. The tuning ID is what is going to link it to the interaction. So always try to name it what you want at the start. So it makes life so much easier. So they'd have to change things at the end. Okay. So after that, you go to create element and then you have this so this is the screen that's going to come up so the name is going to be the name that comes up at so let me see if i can show you guys a buff example so instead of me talking through it let me just show you an example and this is a buff so the name is going to be celebrating success that's what the name means in the zebo mod constructor and this is the description this is what's going to show as the description what you want the text to say so that's what name so name is not the name of the mod name is the name of what basically what the let's call it um the headline of the buff itself so that's what the name is description is what you want the buff to say so um yeah let's move back to zebu so this is a flirting mod and i'm gonna name it whispering sweet nothing um okay so so what's gonna show here is going to instead of celebrating success it's going to show whispering sweet and the description is um let me just think of something so guys just bear with me while i write this and i'm going to explain what i'm doing so this is the description so that's what's going to show here so that's what's going to show at that part so you guys are like what is zero dot sim first name so zero dot sim first name is your 
sim's first name literally your target um not your target sim your actual sim so sim let's call it sim number one um so this is, says hanako so that's how so it's in the game it's gonna put the sim that you've clicked on your sim sim number one the name on there um how the game knows that that is what your sim is called by zero dot sim first name if it was the opposite sim it would be one dot sim first name however when you're making buff that doesn't show it does not show in buffs i think i believe it shows in notifications and some of the other stuff so the opposite sim sim number two the target sim you cannot put their name in buffs so whenever you play the game i'm not sure if you guys have noticed the other sims the sim number one's name is always in a buff if it's meant to be but the second sim is never is always they them they use the of they use pronouns instead of names um because that's just the way the game is when it comes to buffs you can't put the target sims name on there in notifications you can so if you wanted to put target sim it'll be number one sim first name like that uh, if you want to put full name it's zero dot sim first name obviously make sure you always use these and then um zero dot sim last name like so i don't think zero dot sim full name works i tried it but maybe it's just i didn't put it correctly that's just what it's going to say let me just go with that to make sure there's not ever the icon the good thing about um zebu is it comes with the buffs that's already in game like so so you could use something in game something like this so when it's blue it's positive when it's gray is negative as you guys can see it says neg over there so um you could use something in game what you can also do is you could use one of these if you wanted to and you can turn it into the buff um image let me see if i can find something here so i can show you guys what i mean this let's use this right let's click on this so if you were to just select this and you go in game it's going to show as this but if you want it to look like how the rest of these look you select it you go to custom images you go to effect and you go to buff positive import image and it looks like this select make sure you click on it and you go to select image and that's what's going to come up okay so you can do that that's another option of what you can do um and then to give the buff a emotion you just click on has emotion and then you go to this little wheel then here and you select the emotion you want it to have so obviously we're going to select flirty so we click on select and then the emotional what well, the emotion weight is how do i describe this it's you know when you're in game there are certain emotions that have power over other buffs so certain buffs are stronger than other buffs that is what the emotional weight is so if your sim is sad so whenever someone passes away in the sims the sad emo emotion just takes over literally it takes over everything else and that's because the emotion weight is quite big so you can leave it as one if you don't want it to be like overwhelming overpowering i usually just always use 10 i don't know why i cannot give you a reason why it's just 10 <laughs> just i just do that um yeah and then you can do has fixed duration is how long you want it to last so i use 240 so this is in seconds so just i mean no this is in minutes sorry so 240 minutes is so 240 minutes is four hours so this flirty emotion will last four hours in same time okay and then this is add emotion category i'll show you guys what it looks like in sims 4 studio i can't really explain it right now but i'll show you guys what it looks like it basically just has the category mood so that you know it says mood flirty it has flirty mood as a category in game um you can click that De definitely click that um do not click this just leave this as it is e you don't need it <laughs> uh you don't need it uh so just leave that don't click it as it is and that is you creating a buff literally that is all you do if you want to create a buff that's just just emotion based that's not linked to any other interactions that does not have 
a broadcast that does not have anything. This is literally mod creation. I mean, buff creation in a simplicity form. There's literally nothing else you can do. All of this other stuff, you don't need that for now. So please, if you want to learn how to use all this other stuff, I would do it later on um, when it matters. Right now, it does not. So I'll just do a little smart thing. So if a sim has this buff for this amount of time, you can always increase it, decrease it up to you. You can do it where if they have this buff, they can gain a certain skill faster or slower, for example. Um, so this is if they're getting it a bit slower, this is if they're getting it a bit faster. You can have the need decayed, thirsty. They can be thirsty a lot more. They can be thirsty a lot less. Or they could become thirsty a lot more, a lot less, blah, 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 blah. That kind of thing. If they have this buff in game, once this buff has gone off after the located time that you've given it, all this extra that you add on top is going to go with it. So we don't need it at this moment in time. It's not necessary. Um, action loot. We'll talk about that later. Uh, we don't really need to know this. Broadcasting. It's... Um, so broadcasting is once when a sim, sim number one, has this buff, any other sim that comes comes in contact with them will also have a broadcast. So that can be anything. Um, like you can have it can be a loot action or it can be a buff. You guys don't need to know this yet. <laughs> if you want to learn how to do this, we will do this. Mm. I don't know if I, yeah, we can learn how to do this a bit later. Um, but you don't need to know it now. It's not needed. But you guys do get what I mean. Just read the headline here and you know what it means. Okay. So it says, so example, a bully sim could cause all other sims to get a scared buff. A good example is celebrities. Whenever someone comes in contact with a celebrity, a fan, they're always fainting. That is a broadcast. The sim, the target sim, the sim number two is always fainting around the celebrity sim because they've set up a broadcast for that. That's what broadcasting is. Social interactions is literally these interactions will be av available if this sim has this buff. If they don't have this buff, they don't have that interaction. So you guys don't need to know all of that at this moment in time. Right now, this is just how you create a buff in Zebu's um, mod constructor. And now let's export it. So you go to export package save it somewhere let me go to my tutorial folder um, make a new um, buff and then as you guys can see it's saved with your creator's name that you have at the at the start underscore and then romantic interactions which is what you call the buff when you created it so you save it and then that's it it's been saved um for those of you that want to use um lupino's mood pack let me just show you guys what that is so this is um the mood pack that is by lumpino i'm not sure if i'm even saying that right or not but this gives your sim a lot more emotions so we don't have excited proud um shocked insecure we don't have that in game but she or they created it to make it possible for you to have it in game and you can do that by um so to do that once you've downloaded it, you need to get a PDF file. So when you download it, you need to make sure you download the creator's resource version, guys. Don't just download the actual um, mod itself. Download the creator's um, resource one. That's the one you need. So this is the one you need to download. It comes with instructions and how to test it and all that stuff. If you want your audience to use this, they need to download this part. But you need to download this. Obviously, you need this to test it in-game. But you also need to download this part that shows you how you can use it. And it comes with this PDF. So this is what it looks like once you've got it. Uh, and it comes with this PDF. And the PDF gives you a list of um, the different moods you can have in-game. And it also shows you how you can add it using Mod Constructor. It shows you mod constructs of four, but it's basically almost the same. Um, and then how you can do use it in Sims 4 Studio. So I'm going to show you guys how you can use it in mod constructor. So let's say, for example, flirty. Um, let me see if I can find the flirty one. There we go. There's a flirty one. So what you need to do, you need to copy the instance ID. So copy the instance ID, go back into uh, mod constructor where you were doing your selecting here. Go to manual import, advanced. Paste it there 
and click on select. Make sure you untick this area. Okay, do not tick this area, otherwise it will not work. Untick this area if you're using a custom mood. Tick it if you're using the in-game mood, okay? So untick it and then export package like normal. Um, I'm just gonna call it mood pack so we can see the difference. And it's been exported. So that's literally the only difference is you just get the UI, you get the ID and you select you paste it here instead of selecting this make sure you untick this as well you can manually add it yourself in sims 4 studio but untick it because sim uh, mod constructor does not do that so untick it and now let's go to sims 4 studio and see what it looks like so we are in sims 4 studio guys so for, don't forget creator's name please otherwise you can't go any further now let's navigate to our project let's go to the one we made the first one and this is what it looks like so it comes with the image already. So it comes with everything you need. Buffs have sim data. Like I told you in the last video, guys, sim data is very important. So make sure you have that as well. So if you were to make a buff and it does not come with the sim data, please make sure it comes with the sim data. And you guys should know how to make a sim data because I mentioned it in the last video. So um, this is basically what we just made in Sims 4 Studio. So this is what it looks like in Sims 4 Studio. This is literally what you just created that two minutes three minutes mod creation this is the result and this is what it comes with um so you guys can see it has its own unique instance code and it has his own tuning id and it also comes with your um creator's name the name of the mod and the name of the buff so basically what you named it when you were making it in mod constructor so that's what it looks like so this is the buff name that we made we called it whispering sweet nothing the mood type that is the flirty mood and the mood weight is number 10. And this is the category I was talking about, guys. Flirty underscore buffs. So let me show you guys what I meant. So this is what this is. Okay. So it's exactly the same. You don't have to worry about this. Um, and I'm just going to show you guys the string table. So whispering sweet nothing came out like this. And the description came out like this okay guys so that is basically it and you just save it and that is your first buff created <laughs> now i'm going to show you guys the second one that we made with lumpino's mood pack let me show you guys the exact same thing okay, cool as you can see now it does not have the category because we made sure it doesn't it's not meant to have it it still has the same time and the mood type is the long one that we copied from the um from here the 84221 two that's the one we created the buff name is exactly the same the icon is exactly the same so that is literally it all you need to change if you were to make it manually yourself is the mood type so you need to know what kind of mood type you want to use in game so if we were to add the category ourselves you can take a look at the previous one and you can see it added the flirty category. You can do that yourself. And the instruction, this if you want to know what the mood type is, it's just literally suggested mood category, emotion category. Um, it shows you here how you can do it. So enable categories, or you have to do just E, the flirty underscore buffs, close it, close it. There you go. Um, <laughs> that's literally that's what you do when you're creating buffs in uh, mod constructor and now i'm going to show you guys quickly how to do it on the lot 51 website for those of you that are curious about that as well so this is the lot 51 website guys if you remember from the last video and i've already let me just go back to the start so you go this is basically the first home page when you click on the builder and you just have to search here for buffs and it's this one and this is what comes up so it's exactly like this but you just need to write it yourself so what you first need to do is change the name up here to flirty buff okay if you're if it's showing creator's name instead of your name it's because you haven't done the settings on here so you have to change the creator's name and then you can put either underscore or colon like this it's up to you i always use this so whenever you go back to the lot 51 website it comes up with your creator's name literally automatically so you can see as i was writing the instance id was changing as you guys can see you see that 
So make sure your instance ID is unique and it's going to be different to the one that we've already made in Sims 4 Studio because it's not the same name. So as you can see, it's completely different names. So it's going to be completely different um, to the ID. Okay, so <laughs> let me show you guys how you can make your buff here. So you go all the way to the bottom. So you guys know what the buff name is. I've already told you guys what the buff name is. With this one, it's not as easy as just typing it out. You need to go to tools, hash generator, and go to whispering sweet nothing. Write what you want to write. Copy the hex code, like so. Make sure it's 32 bit, guys, and paste it, like so. What you can do is you can also add a comment so you know what. You just what this means so that does not happen with the mod constructor um so you just see this but you want to know what it means okay and then you do the same with the description i'm just going to copy and paste the description go to tools you go to hash generator you write your description you get the hex code and you paste it here and you can also do the same thing here as well um where you add a comment Make sure you don't change the name. You just need to add a comment and it will add the comment. That way you know what it is that it stands for. And then the icon, unfortunately, um, not 51 does not allow you to customize it the way um, Zebu's one does. So if you were to do like, if you wanted your own icon and you made it in Photoshop, you input it into um, Sims 4 Studio. So you input it whichever way you want to make, input it. And then all you have to do is just get this you need the instance that is your business the instance to you need a whole key but um the way it's written is different if you guys can see it's got like all these um lines but it's got a code on so you can obviously change it manually so like i said manually doing it is quite a bit longer but what you need to do is then you go to icon select any random icon go to the end and change it to the one that's already there it won't show because obviously it's not linked um and then that's it or if you don't want to do that you can just get one from here search for anything uh is there something called lips there you go <laughs> um this one like i said you can't customize it like it can in the mod constructor you do not need the ui order so you need it for the um sim data is required in sim data but you don't need it to actually show on here um let me just change and get rid of that as well. The mood weight, like I said, is what we made. I made. I always put number 10. And then the mood is just like before, you select what mood you want. We want 30. And this is where you can see the number for 30. So if you ever want to create yourself, you can see the numbers next to it. There you go. And it's created a comment as well, so you know what it stands for. If you wanted to use Lupino's one, uh, where's the flirt one that we used before? You just go select it and you just paste it literally and it's the same mood it's still flirty um, or you can change it you can add a comment let me click on it so that the comment is already there so you can change it to what it's actually on here it doesn't make a difference the comment does not show in game guys so it does not it does not really make you can change it to that so you know what that code is for and then you go up to temporary commodity info you enable it you click enabled as you guys can see let me just give it that you go down arrow and then max duration is the amount of time that you want it to last for just like in the zebra one we put 240 and that will show and then category is the category of the mood so the category for this mood is flirty if you don't know what the category for any custom mood is just go back to it and you can see here is flirty and then that is your mod your, not your mod your buff created just like in the zebra one you can do so much more with a buff as you guys can see you can do a lot more with buffs um but it can be quite overwhelming so we're just going to start with <laughs> what we know so that's how you create a buff in the lot 51 website so to down save it you need to download the tuning and download the sim data you can do it that way or if you don't already have a mod created guys and you wanted to use that as like number one you go to tools and you create empty package 
and then you name it whatever you want to name it um let me not overtake what i've already made we'll go here again um get creator's name blurty interactions for example i don't know and you save that and then what you can do is then you can um add a new interaction i don't this is very long-winded i don't advise doing this um but if you wanted to you can do that this i'm mean, not an interaction a new buff tuning what you now need to do is copy this and then paste it um to this new one this empty new one but like don't do that <laughs> it's quite long-winded doing that what i would advise you to do is just let me delete this i can show you guys what i mean i don't want to have a duplicate what i would advise you to do is save these into a file let me see let me go buff let me save it here save the xml and the sim data if it has a sim data go to sims 4 studio and then go to batch import and then just select both and it's done it for you and now what you need to do is you need to do the string table which i showed you guys last week how to do uh let me bring up a random one for example let me just say the same thing i did last time let me filter about something friends it doesn't matter you're going to delete this anyways but you add it to your comment package like so and then you go to your buff tuning and you select the name you get rid of this you add and you put down what it means uh, i think it was whispers sweet my bit if it's not you can always i think that's what it is um save it so this is quite long-winded <laughs> it is quite long-winded if you were to do it this way um so if you want to use mod constructor for this please go ahead and do so let me just copy the description and you save that and that's it saved and then obviously if you want to make sure it goes to the other languages because if you have to go to the chinese it still has the same um as before so you just go to tools and you go to modding and you go to copy string tables to our language and now if you go back and check it's there obviously it's going to remove the other one but it's there and then obviously you save make sure you always save your work and that is your buff creation done from the lot 51 website so it is very long we did doing it this way guys but if you wanted to do it with mod constructor please go ahead and do so and now i'm going to show you guys what it looks like in game hey guys so we are in game and i am here with hanako and her man and i've tested that so basically what i did was i added it to the flirt um social interaction it doesn't make sense in the flirt social interaction but so i added it to the flirt emotion just to um emotion this is flirt interaction just to test it out to see if it works and this is the mod as you can tell by the picture i used the one that we made in lot 51 um, as an example so you can see the whispering sweet nut things and you can see his name obviously i put a um <laughs> Apostrophe is the number two. So Grady just whispered sweet nothing to their partner, and now they are feeling even more in the mood than usual. And you can also see the four hours that we've got on there. So that is the four hours, the 240 minutes we've got on there, and we've also got the plus 10, which is the mood weight as well. Let me see if I can show you an example. So this is a happy, it's got plus three, it's meant to last two days because obviously they got married, and then 51 minutes. So you can see in the game what I mean by this one hasn't got one. Um that's up to the there's not everyone needs one um this is two hours and the mood rate is two uh, so you could just see all the different ones inspired 40 minutes the mood rate is one so each most buffs do have the mood weight and the duration not every single buff has it sometimes they just leave it as it is and not every single buff is visible you'd be shocked to see to know the amount of buffs that is used in game that is not visible let me see if i can do it from her side right let me see if i can do it from her side has she got the flirt has she got quad flirt oh she hasn't got flirt why has she not got flirt okay i can't do it from her side is flirt on there 
and let's say she's not in the mood to flirt with him let me see if i can do it again from his side actually let me get rid of the buff first and let me do it from his side so you guys can see what it looks like um romance flirtation flirt <laughs> deck deck <laughs> okay so you guys see it popped up here <laughs> uh yeah so it popped up here so i think it's because it's got the mood mood weight 10 it's the first one because it's the heaviest no other mood weight is as heavy as that so it's the first one on there because it's called mood weight 10 but yeah that's literally buff creation guys and in the next video the new action videos i'm going to show you guys how to make notification um like so let's just ignore the wicked whims one <laughs> i'll show you how to make notifications like so um oh my god how many times are there this? oh my goodness gracious me <laughs> another one okay so i'm gonna show you guys how to make <laughs> notifications like this any sort of notification on the side and <laughs> yeah so i'm going to show you guys how to do that and in that same video because notifications doesn't really take that long to to make i'm going to show you guys how to make loot, loot actions which is what we made to get this into the game so i'm going to show you guys how to do that as well in um in mod constructor i'm going to use this same the same thing so i'm just going to add the element instead of making a new one and also in lot 51's website for those of you that are interested i'm not sure if a lot of you will be because it's manual work but it's good learning steps um yeah <laughs> oh quick one before i round up the video i'm just going to show you guys what the mod that we just made looks like in the love 51 website let me use this one this is the loot action that i made to get this in game so i'm going to show you guys how i did that um very simple and that is the flirty buff that we made i believe this is one made in lot 51 so let me just get the other one out and obviously that is the um flirt interaction as well so i just overread that but we're not going to do that in the next video um the one we made okay this is one we made in that's the one we made yeah so this is the one we made in um mod constructor so i'm just going to get rid of all of this i don't i always do it every time you don't need to do this but i just i don't like seeing it but yeah this is what we made in mod constructor as you can see there's not really much of a difference ignore this for now uh mod constructor automatically added it but you can ignore it for now i'll explain what it means um a bit later on but you can ignore it for now you can even remove it if you want to but it's fine um but yeah this is what the mod constructor one looks like and this is what ours look like so literally no difference it's just more manual work um but yeah i just want to show you guys what it looks like so yeah that's it and um that is what it looks like to make a buff so i will see you guys in the next video where we start working on loot actions and how we add it into the game bye guys